Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use pie charts in JavaFX. So let's get started. I have created the sample project which is called pie chart and in my application package, I have this main.java class in which I'm calling this main.fxml file which I have created here which is right now blank and I also have uh, this uh, main controller dot Java class. Okay, so let's add some code first and then we are going to add uh, our pie chart to the fxml file. So go to your main controller dot Java class and in here first of all we are going to add this pie chart variable. So just write at the rate uh, fxml then pie chart and then give the name to your pie chart for example pie chart and then what we are going to do is we are going to create a method which is going to be a public void method so it's going to be void and the name of the method i'm going to name it as btn1 for example okay or btn right and as an argument i'm going to give the action event class variable and just declare this event and inside this uh, method what we are going to do is we are going to create an observable list okay so just create an uh, observable list and this list takes uh, this template argument so the template out argument here will be pie chart data okay so just write data and it's going to give you this error so just click this bulb here and you can see it has this javafx scene chart dot pie chart so just add this uh, import here and it's going to uh, disappear your error and then give the name to your observable list then uh, fx collection dot observable array list and then as an constructor argument what you can do is you can add the spice chart uh, you know data so how you can add pie chart data you can just write new pie chart dot data and this takes two argument first is the section of uh, the pie chart so for example the name of the section right so for example we want to make the pie chart for a popular programming languages right so for example first language is uh, java and the value of it is 50 for example and then we will uh, give the comma and same we will copy maybe four times uh, more and the second language will be C++, third language will be Python, fourth will be C sharp and uh, fifth will be C for example. Okay, And I will give uh, some values to uh, these uh, languages 20, 30, 40 and for example this has uh, 15. Okay, And remove this comma from here. So now we have this observable list. So we just need to take our pie chart and then we will just say set data and then set this list variable here. Okay. So this is our code and now let's add it our fxml file to perform this code. So right click on your main.fxml file and open it in scene builder and in here first of all I will go to the layout and select the anchor pane and I'm going to change the width and height of uh, this anchor pane to 500 by 500 and then I will go to the chart category here and I'm going to drag and drop this chart control here okay and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a button from controls and drag and drop here okay and the text of this button I'm going to change it as load chart and the ID of this uh, pie chart will be 
the same as we have given in the main controller okay so select your pie chart and go to code and give the fx id here and save your code and then we will uh, connect our controller with uh, the main.fxml file so go to controller and then go to application.main controller and then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to select our button and then we will go to on action um, method here and select our method which we have created which is this one right save the code and uh, refresh your project and then run your project so right click run as java application and now our app is running so when i click this load chart button it's going to load this pie chart something like this okay and you can see it's showing uh, these uh, names python c plus plus c sharp c and java and the section according to their values right so the most significant value here is for java which is 50 so it's taking the most of the pie chart and the least is i think c sharp which is taking the least section of the pie okay now there are some properties of pie chart which you can change to uh, you know uh, change the look and feel of the pie chart so i'm going to close my app and i'm going to open my main.fxml file in scene builder and i'm going to select my pie chart and then go to the properties here so the first property you can see here is the title so you can just give any title to your pie chart for example pie chart and going it's going to show it here okay now uh, this title you can show on the top or the bottom or left or right using this property called title side okay so when you uh, select bottom it's going to show the title at the bottom or if you choose a left it's going to show the title on the left or the right right so i'm going to choose this top now uh, here is the property called animated if you check this then your uh, pie chart will be animated when it's created or otherwise if you uncheck this then this animation will no longer be visible okay now legend what is a legend first of all so when you run your uh, app once again and this is the leg legend so here you can see this uh, color and the name of your uh, language color and the name of your language so this is your legend and you can also change the property of the legend first of all if you want to uh, you know show the legend then uh, keep this uh, checkbox checked otherwise just uncheck this and then save your code and uh, refresh your project and run it once again and click your button and now you can see there is no legend okay so using this selection uh, checkbox you can uh, choose if you want to show the legend or not now legend can be at the bottom or at the top or on the left or on the right okay so for example we want to show the legend on the left just save your code and refresh your project and run it and when i click this load chart it's going to show the legend on the left hand side see here right and there are some more properties here you can see the label visible and what is label here so when you run your uh, app and when you see uh, this label for uh, your sections for example here it's printed c plus plus or python or c sharp these are the labels right and you can choose if you want to show the labels or not and there is a property called label line length so what is this label line length is this line length which uh, you know joins your section to the label this is the line you can see right so for example we can set this uh, length to one here and then uh, save your code and refresh your uh, project 
and right now you can see uh, this label line is little bit bigger right which is of magnitude 20 now when I rerun my code and load the chart you can see the label line is now very short because its magnitude is 1 okay so that's the label line so I will make it 20 once again now there is a property called clockwise here right so once again when I run the project and load my chart you will see here it animates clockwise you see right so it animates uh, in the clockwise direction now when you uncheck this option and then save your code and refresh your project and run it once again and load chart now you can see it animates through the anti-clockwise right so this is for uh, that animation so you can make it check or unchecked it's on you okay so this is how you can use pie charts in JavaFX. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and 